Does the idea of intelligent design open new empirical possibilities for scientists to explore? Could you explain? I think uh, science can do a lot of work uh, from an intelligent design point of view. Uh, it's, it's the case in science when you get a, a new theory or a new paradigm, then frequently the kinds of questions that are asked differ from what was asked under the old paradigm. So for example, Darwinian uh, evolution would ask the question of uh, how did natural selection produce a certain feature. In intelligent design theory, one could think that natural processes did not produce a certain feature, that it had to have been planned. But one could ask a, a question such as, uh, well, what are the limits of intelligent design, or what are the limits of natural processes? To say that some things in life are designed some very complex uh, biological systems, is not to say that, that everything is designed. Certainly, perhaps, the, the eye might be designed, but you know, the shape of my nose might not be a matter of, 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 of uh, explicit design. So one could look at uh, a number of uh, molecular systems. I'm a biochemist, so that's what interests me the most. Uh, things like uh, DNA replication and, and uh, uh, the expression of genetic information uh, in the genetic code and, and ask, and there are a number of parts to these systems, you can ask which parts seem to have been explicitly designed, which parts seem like they may have been designed, and which parts look like they could have arisen uh, strictly through natural processes. Uh, so that's, that's just one feature of intelligent, or one, one question that you can ask under a, an intelligent design point of view.